fuck? God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry. I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? said something weird there's that fear oh, Max it's an honor working with you on these final sessions I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture the loss of youth <laughs> at least that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? Damn. No, David, no! Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay, let's try this one last time. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. I promise. 
promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I would... David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Jesus. David Metz. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Hold it! What? Excuse me, but my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me. No! David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. You David, are not going to table. stop me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David Madsen. You are not going to stop. Got it. Oh, Christ. David. You are not going to stop me. David Madsen. Of course. Sorry, Madsen. You should have stuck to harassing students. You are not going to stop me! David Madsen!
I can only go so far back in time. You are not going to stop- Grab your gun now! God- Oh, Christ! David Madsen, you are once- Over. He's hiding a gun over there! Sorry, Madsen. You are not going to stop me! David Madsen! You are not going to stop me! Oh lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. And he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Good God. It's a studio. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was was going to kill me, like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It's part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start, and I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier. But, I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. I kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. 
I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? David, um, she was pretty stressed out, so, um, she went to go, um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over.